I got to say, Kobe's become an underrated player. Um, he's overrated by some Lakers fans who thought they were watching Michael Jordan because they'd never actually seen Jordan in his prime. He's talking to me. Oh. He's talking to me. He, he hit me with that. Oh, my gosh. What's up, you guys? Um, I'm a little bit annoyed right now. And this has nothing to do with the video. I'm just annoyed because I have to share an earth with some of you. Um, I feel like I'm the only one that's taking this corona seriously. I took it serious from day one. Yeah, no. And uh, look, we're here a couple months. Gonna be no NBA because of y'all. Um, people are dying because of y'all. And I'm getting annoyed. Um, and I try to impart knowledge. You know, I try to impart knowledge and people tell me I'm doing too much. <sighs> I'm just a little bit annoyed. It's like, what do you mean? How am I doing too much? You're doing too little. Oh, disgusting, but I just need a separate earth. Just give me a separate earth to live on, I'll be cool. Cause y'all y'all getting on my nerve at this point, but we're not here for that. Today we're gonna be talking about Stephen A. Smith, okay? He had some words to say. Talking about Tim Duncan's career was better than Kobe Bryant's. I'm just gonna listen to it. Um, Now here's the thing that I do wanna say before the video starts is that you know, it can be hard to talk about Kobe Bryant now and his career and everything. And I think some people might be scared to like share their opinions because people might just attack him. You know, like it's coming off as disrespectful. I'm here to say, I don't think so. Like you can critique his game still to this day. I don't think it's disrespectful at all. I don't take it any type of way. I don't think anybody else should really. Obviously, if you're not just being like disrespectful, but just like critiquing his game or saying someone's better than him is not really just disrespectful just because of the circumstances. I don't think we should treat the conversations any differently just because of, you know, what's what happens. So that's just what I'm gonna say. I don't think he's being disrespectful at all. I don't think anything. I'm just gonna react to it because I think he's wrong. However, I don't know what he's talking about. Maybe he's talking about he had a better career as far as impact. I think that's false. Maybe he, he's talking about career as far as what he's done for San Antonio. I don't know what he could possibly be. So let's just watch it because at this point I'm just even confusing myself. Let's just see what Mr. Steven has to say. Maybe he he's right. <laughs> Kobe Bryant won five NBA championships, three with Shaq, but it could have been more. Bryant told Matt Barnes and Steven Jackson on their podcast that his Lakers probably would have won ten in a row if not for the San Antonio Spurs. Tim Duncan and company won five championships themselves. Right. Stephen A. Had the better career, Kobe being Bryant or Tim Duncan? I'm sorry, where did this come? Where did this question even come from? I'm actually curious, genuinely, like who was sitting in the studio, like who was better, and those are the two players you chose. I, I don't know. That's where did it come from? Shockingly, I would have to say Tim Duncan. Um, Kobe Bryant is box office. Kobe Bryant's a superstar. Kobe Bryant's a five-time champion. Um, he's considered uh, arguably the second greatest off guard in the history of basketball behind uh, Michael Jordan in some people's eyes. Fair enough. Tim Duncan is also a five-time champion. Tim Duncan has been to six NBA Finals to Kobe seven. He's won five times. <laughs> Stephen, let me finish. Let me let you finish. You're, you're proving my point, but let me, let me finish. Time champion. Tim Duncan has been to six NBA Finals to Kobe seven. He's won five titles. He's been to 10 conference finals in his 19 years. He only missed the playoffs one time in his career. That was in 2000. He was injured. Other than that, he's never missed the playoffs in his entire career, whereas Kobe Bryant missed it four times. And last but not least, you know, like Kobe said, you would have won and could have won 10 titles if it were not for the Spurs. Well, guess what? You could have also won it if you and Shaq found a way to get along. So Kobe is synonymous with Shaquille O'Neal from the standpoint that they couldn't make that marriage work. So you're telling me, Stephen, and I, I don't think this is true. I, I can't. It's, it's no way that you, you... I think you're just talking. I, it's no way that you really you really think that I'm going to sit here and, 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 and believe that because Kobe and Shaq couldn't make it work, Duncan has the better, that has nothing to do. Literally, when I say nothing, Stephen, I mean nothing. 
Like you basically were talking about apples and then you went and switched to pears. Wow! It had nothing to do. You and Shaq couldn't make it worse so that way Tim Duncan could crawl through the window under the, the, the boot. What are you talking about? I, you lost me. You lost me. Okay, this does not have any, what? I'm so, wait, okay, so you mean to say, let me go back. Maybe I just misheard. One, 10 titles if it were not for the Spurs. What? Oh yeah, also, on that note, we would have won 10 titles if it wasn't for the Spurs. So that makes Duncan's career better than Kobe's. Also to the playoff point, I don't want to just skip by that. That was a very good point. He sure did, but he definitely benefited from having one of the greatest coaches in the world, if not the greatest coach in the world, Greg Popovich and that system. You can see how effective that system is because they were good after he retired. With bombs, you wouldn't expect them to be that good. The system is so good over there that he definitely benefited a lot from that point blank period. I do think if he would have been on other teams, he still would have been Tim Duncan, so it would have been great. But understand how much you get from a Craig, Greg Popovich. Let's not skip that, okay? Let's not skip that. Well, guess what? You could have also. You thought you were slick? I'm sorry. You thought you were slick? You thought I was going to bring it up? You thought I was just going to bring it up? No. <gasps> if you and Shaq found a way to get along. And so Kobe is synonymous with Shaquille O'Neal from the standpoint that they couldn't make that marriage work for their entire careers. We can't take away from the greatness of Kobe Bryant in any way. But what we can say is <laughs> Tim Duncan was a model of consistency. I'm sorry. Then why did you bring it up? If, if it doesn't take away from anything, what relevance did it have in this argument? Oh. What? Are, what? You said you cannot take that away from Kobe Bryant's career. We're literally discussing Kobe's career and Tim Duncan's career. If it doesn't have anything to do, what are we talking about here? Why was that even brought up? I feel like you're trying to reach for a, a unpopular opinion. I think that's what's going on here. You're trying to... to trying to find an unpopular opinion i respect it but like just be honest you know what i mean it just didn't it didn't pan out in peace and no strife and he never missed the playoffs and was a championship he missed once didn't you say he missed once he was injured but he missed once legitimate title contender for all but two years of his entire career the answer is kobe bryant <laughs> Tim Duncan is the greatest power forward of all time and among the great Correct. centers of all time. Kobe is only the second greatest two guard of all time. But I got to say, Kobe's become an underrated player. Um, he's overrated by some Lakers fans who thought they were watching Michael Jordan because they'd never actually seen Jordan in his prime. <laughs> he's talking to me. <laughs> oh, he's talking to me. He hit me with that. Oh, my gosh. My battery's about to run out. Let me change it real quick. Max, you ain't have to be like that. <laughs> okay, I'm back. He literally just, Max just shot me in the chest right there. He said he was overrated by some Laker fans who never seen Michael Jordan play. I didn't think I was watching Michael. Okay, don't do that, but that was funny. I like that. That was a good little point. He was so similar and think he's the greatest ever. He's not the best player who ever lived. He's not a top three player. He's not a top five player. I don't think that you can start to argue. He's top 10, certainly, to me, Kobe Bryant. And while it's me. close between him and Tim Duncan, but they both played a really... <laughs> You're in Stevens. <laughs> he is to me. What are you talking about? Where is Tim Duncan then for you? Where is, is Tim Duncan on all-time great list higher than Kobe Bryant? Is that what we're arguing here? If not, Steven, then 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 your whole argument has to go out the window. What are you t Long time, Duncan was a better teammate and all this. They both won five championships. Kobe got to one more championship. But more than any of that, Stephen A., Final. when you have two players who are both great for a long time, I start to look at who was better at their peak. As great as Duncan was, y'all must have forgot. Because Kobe was so great at his peak, it's hard to remember without keeping your eyes on him and watching him that season. At his best, Kobe was as good as Magic or Bird. The only, the only non-big I've ever seen who you could definitively say was better than Kobe, because LeBron's almost a big, was Michael Jordan. I'm not disagreeing with those points, Max. I'm simply saying Tim Duncan was the greatest power. I'm sorry, what did he, let me go back. I didn't he was it. as good as Magic or Bird. The only, the only non-big I... As good as Bird. Wow! 
we're gonna talk about Larry Bird one day because I know y'all love him one day his day is gonna come we're gonna talk about him very shortly talk let me just hold my tongue before I get slayed in the comments but we're gonna get to him don't think (sighs) as good as Larry Bird what at his peak he was maybe as good as Larry who are you say that for another day i've ever seen who you could definitively say was better than kobe because lebron's almost a big i'm actually fuming under these glasses i can't believe he just said that. was michael jordan i can't believe it. i'm not disagreeing with those points max i'm simply saying tim duncan was the greatest power forward in the history of basketball for a reason and they were playing in a different system but when it came time to deliver the goods in crunch time as well that was tim duncan too now I mean, Tim Duncan, I mean, th- th- listen, Kevin McHale, Carl Malone, some of the greatest power forwards that ever lived get eclipsed by Tim Duncan. Cole, there's no denying mm-hmm. his greatness. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. That was it? interesting um honestly neither of them really had solid points i'm not gonna lie i going into a debate i wouldn't have wanted any of them to represent kobe i mean nobody brought up greg popovich at all we had phil jackson so i'm not gonna say like we're gonna put all tim duncan's greatness on greg of course tim duncan still the greatest power forward whatever like that's fine i'll let him have it but the playoff argument specifically i was just speaking to the playoff argument because even after he was gone they were still making the playoffs for a little bit like the first year that they were like it was some insane stat like the first year they missed the playoffs in like years with greg popovich as coach like it's something about that system Okay, so like the playoff argument, that's what I was speaking to. But that takes nothing away from his greatness or whatever, I guess. But to say that his career was better than Kobe's, do we any of us really believe that? Not to just gas up Kobe because oh legacy. Let's not let's not do it. Tim Duncan and Kobe. Put in the comments, you really believe Duncan is, is has a better career than Kobe's? I guess okay, so I guess career just means literally just on the court and what you achieved on the court, I guess. And it does has nothing to do with impact, nothing to do with, you know what I mean, anything else. I, I'm gonna just assume that. So if we're going off of that, I still say Kobe. <laughs> we three-peated. I think I'm done right there. I think I can just drop the mic there. And I'm not gonna lie, like on the greatest of all time list, I don't think that Tim Duncan is above Kobe on anybody's list. Only thing with the greatest of all time list and all these lists and rankings is It's all about what you're talking about in that conversation. You know, like for example, the GOAT conversation, are you talking just career? Are you talking impact? Are you talking all of that? Because that changes people's ranking. You know, some people will like to talk about rings and finals appearances and then when their favorite player has gone to the finals a lot of times and hasn't won, or maybe they have a lot of rings but their field goal percentage is low or whatever, like they like to pick and choose which, what they want to highlight in which conversation. So I think it's important we're talking career just on the court i still think kobe won but it's tough but steven you were wrong i'll tell you that right now and also i just don't know where this question came from it was just really random another thing here is this if we look at peak seasons the highest uh tim duncan has ever gotten in scoring for a season is literally 25 literally I'm, i cannot make this up this was in when was this 2001 2002 season nine rebounds okay three assists 2.5 blocks you know but 25 points was his highest ever let's go to kobe's best season and it wasn't really a well-rounded stat line right there for kobe's it was 35.4 points per game five rebounds per game 5.3 4.5 assists per game on 45 percent shooting this is the 0506 season check it out for yourselves so if you really want to run with the peak season since they both had five uh championships and all that brian's peak season to me blows it out the water plus that was 45 percent from the field which a lot of people love to talk about his low efficiency but his best season where he scored the most points was on 45 percent from the field i think that's pretty good and, and obviously a big's uh field goal percentage should be higher than any guards ever should be 
personally. I mean, let's be real, they're closer to the rim. I think we all know that. So, you know, the debate gets dicey, but I think that Kobe edges Tim Duncan out. I may be biased. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Do you think Tim Duncan had a better career than Kobe's? And I don't think we're including impact in this. So we'll just stick to just like stats and stuff. But this is an interesting debate. I don't think it's as crazy far away as I think it is. I think in my head, I'm like, who could ever compare these? But really, now that I'm kind of thinking about it, it's way closer than I think. It is. It is way closer as far as careers. I think impact is what separates them so drastically. Because, I mean, Kobe has a whole shoe line. You know what I mean? Who has worn Tim Duncan's? Does he even have shoes? You know what I mean? So I think impact is what's really separating them. But as far as career, they're actually pretty, pretty close. So let me know as far as just career, what you guys think in the comments below. I'm going to read and respond to everybody's. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Click here if you haven't seen this video yet. And click here to subscribe to the Splash Squad. Guys, I'm almost done with school. Okay, I have what? Two more weeks? No, wait. basically I'm done in the beginning of May. So this is the home stretch of my senior year. So I kind of have to like stay locked in. So I would be doing a lot more videos, but I just can't. You know, it's too much. These teachers, they think quarantine means corn work. They're just giving all these assignments and it's just, it's, it's killing me. But after I graduate in quarantine, this channel about to be flooded and before the NBA video is coming out too. So I just gotta tough it out. But thank y'all so much for watching. Just wanna let y'all know because I know y'all thought that there would be more videos from quarantine, but it's literally just cause I'm doing homework and stuff. But thank y'all so much for watching. I'll see y'all later. Peace.